Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. In continuation with our permutation basics, now we are dealing with the topic permutation numbers. So, as I've told earlier, there are two types of concept you will see in the permutation numbers. First, we are dealing with the non-zero type. So, let's go into the question. The question that we are going to deal is, how many ways a three-digit numbers can be formed using 1, 2, 3, 4? So, they have given four numbers to us in the question and they are asking us to form a three-digit number. So, we know the formula is NPR. So, four digits they have given and they are asking us to form a three-digit number. So, 4P3. So, 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 3 factorial. So, once you solve this, you will get the answer for the number of ways a three-digit number can be formed using 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it is nothing but 4 factorial. We know 4 factorial is nothing but 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is nothing but 24. So, 24 ways a three-digit numbers can be formed using 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's take another example. So, similar example is how many ways a two-digit numbers can be formed using 5, 6 and 7. So, what is the formula? NPR. So, what is the number of digits given? Three digits are given. So, out of which how many numbers you have to form? Two-digit numbers you have to form. So, 3P2. So, 3 factorial by 3 minus 2 factorial which is equal to 3 factorial which is 3 into 2, 6. The next type of sum that we are going to see is that what we have if we have a repeated numbers. Let's consider this example. How many ways a two digit number can be formed using 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. So the formula is NPR and we will write N as 5 here because 5 numbers are given. How many digits we have to form? It is 2. Here we have a catch. Generally we put it as 5P2 and then start solving it. The catch here is 2 is repeated twice. So hence what we do here is divided by 2 factorial. This is the catch here. When you have a repeated numbers, how many times a repeated numbers has come? You have to divide the same number in the denominator. So now solve this. So 5 factorial by 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial. So once you solve the sum, you will know the ways in which a two digit numbers can be formed using these 5 numbers. So in this question, they are asking how many ways a three digit number can be formed using 7, 8, 9, 9, 4. So okay, they are asking us to form a three digit number. They have given you 5 numbers. So as usual, we write it as 5P3. The catch here is 9 is repeated twice. So what do you do? Divided by 2 factorial. Solve this 5 factorial by 5 minus 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial. So nothing but 5 factorial by 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial. So once you solve this, we will know the ways in which a 3 digit number can be formed using the given numbers. Next, we will deal with the sums where it has 0 in the questions. So the next type of sum we see in numbers is with 0 in the question. So let's take an example. How many ways a four digit number can be formed using 0, 1, 2, 3? So what are the numbers they have given? 0, 1, 2, 3. How many digit now we have to form? Four digit numbers. So first let's consider 3. So if we have 3 in the first place, what are the other ways in which other numbers can be used here? So it is 3 factorial ways. So, which is nothing but 3 into 2, 6. So, if we have 3 as the first digit, then there are 6 ways you can form the 4 digit number. Next, let's consider 2. The remaining 3 places are there. What are the ways in which other 3 numbers can be used there? 3 factorial ways. Just 3 into 2, 6. Now, let's consider 1. Similarly, for 1, it can be formed by 3 factorial ways, which is 3 into 2, 6. Now, we are coming to 0. If we are going to consider 0 here and fill other numbers here, then you are totally wrong. Because if you put 0 here, it becomes a 3 digit number and not a 4 digit number. Then, this whole possibility is totally not possible. 
then the number of ways a four digit number can be formed using 0 1 2 3 is nothing but 6 plus 6 plus 6 which is nothing but 18 ways let's understand it much better with an another example so the next example is how many ways a three digit number can be formed using 890 so what are the numbers they have given 890 so once they give the question always write the numbers given here and the number of digit numbers they are for asking us to form so it's a three digit number so three places we have so let's start with eight so if i keep eight here there are two places how many ways are there two numbers can be formed two factorial ways which is equal to two let's take nine here so nine in the first place we have other two places how many ways 8 and 0 can be arranged? 2 factorial ways, just 2. Now, if you're going to take 0 in the first place, then it becomes a 2 digit number. But what are they asking in the question? They are asking a 3 digit number. So, this possibility is not possible. So, the number of ways a 3 digit numbers can be formed here is 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. So, there are 4 ways in which three digit numbers can be formed using 890. So these are the two types of sum that you face in numbers with respect to the permutation. One is with zero, another is without zero. If you are thorough with this concept with respect to numbers, it is very easy to crack any type of problem with respect to the similar type of sums. So if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com website. Kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.